Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road where mama and papa used to go. Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago and pine for them old days of yore. Well, let me run through the breeze like the leaves on the trees. Let me fly like the leaves when they fall. Hey, everyone. I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. And I'm Marie. And today, Calvin is going to make us a homemade chili, and this is Friday. And I'm really looking forward to it because this is his famous chili that he makes for all the dinners that our children uh, like him to make on certain occasions. <laughs> <laughs> Only difference, I'm going to make it a little smaller this time. It won't be quite as big. Yeah. Uh, used to when I made it, I had a big pot about this deep. You and sure we'd did. fill that thing full, wouldn't we? <laughs> I'm surprised you don't have it showing. I started to, but I decided <laughs> not to. But uh, okay, we're gonna get started here, Marie, and I'll have you some good homemade chili in just a little while. Well, thank you. I sure do appreciate that. <laughs> okay, and I'll let you. Because I know how good it is. <laughs> and I'll let you direct the video. All right. <laughs> Actions. Camera. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You can cut that part out. <laughs> okay. Okay, to get started on this video today, I've already got my hamburger meat over here in the pan. And uh, it was actually frozen, so we had to thaw it out. And I'm going to start browning that in just a minute. I've got also that's going to be going in there is just a little over a pound of stew beef meat. And I'm going to have to cut this into smaller pieces because it's a little bit too big. I'm also going to be putting a pound of, actually it says 14 ounces, but I call it a pound, of the skinless smoked sausage in it. Uh, this is all of my seasonings that I'm going to be uh, mixing up to put in it. Used to, when I made before, I'd always use these box seasonings that you buy at Walmart. And the name of it, I believe it was Carol Shelby's uh, Chili Seasoning. And that is hard to find now, so I hadn't used it in quite a while. So I just came up with my own little recipe for mixing up my own chili seasoning. And this will be in the description below with the recipe. I'm going to set this to the side so it won't get accidentally knocked off. And then I've got, I'm going to be adding two cans of chili beans to it. And I'll also be adding one can of uh, dark red kidney beans and I'll be adding two cans of diced tomatoes to the chili. I've got one whole onion and one bell pepper. So let me get started. I'm going to go ahead and chop up the onion and the bell pepper first and then we'll start cooking the hamburger meat over here. And the knife I'm using here, this is the new knife that uh, uh, Paul and Danielle sent us these knives. And a very nice knife. I like it. I've been using it ever since we uh, got it. And I'm not going to chop the onions too big, just sort of a medium chop on them. Okay, now I'm going to do my bell pepper. And I've got to where I like cutting the bell peppers like this. Uh, I seem to really enjoy it. Seems like they cut up a whole lot better and look a lot better. And 
today I'm using a new uh, overhead camera. Uh, it's the same camera, but I've got a new mount for it, and it's given us a different view of me cutting up the vegetables. So I don't know how good this is going to work until we get through and I look at the video. But my son, he's a designer. He does computer graphics designs. And he designed uh, the camera mount. And he printed out on his printer at home. Uh, it's right up here just above me. And uh, I'll put a picture in here and show you that camera mount. And he just made that for, it, for me and brought it to me day before yesterday. And this is our first time to have a chance to use it. chopped up. Okay, and I'm going to uh, cut up this uh, beef. When you buy stew beef like this, you never know if you're going to get big chunks or small chunks. And this time they're pretty good size big and I don't like them big in my chili I want them to be small and so uh, this is first time using this knife on meat so we'll have to see how it works seems like it's working pretty good though if you get your pieces of uh, beef cut up smaller then when they cook, they'll be more tender. Now when you're making your chili, if you just want to make the chili with hamburger meat only, you can make it that way and use the same other ingredients. You can leave the stew beef meat out and you can leave the sausage out. Uh, I just, this is something that I've been doing for so many years, I can't remember, but we just got in the habit of liking it like that back when our kids were young and we've been making it like that all along. Okay, I've still got to cut up my smoked sausage. Let me get another cutting board here and put it on. I can just put it on the small one right here. Since it's all going to be cooked together, it won't matter if I use the same knife for uh, two different types of meat. Okay, on the sausage, the way I like to cut it up, I'll take and cut them in half first. Let's see if I can keep it straight so they'll cut good. Okay, and then after I cut it in half, I like to cut that piece in half. And this makes little small bits of uh, sausage to go into the chili. Take me home to rest where the mockingbirds nest and to cry through the green in the spring. Let's -a go back a ways to the old bygone days and the simple time we lived back when. Okay, well that knife worked great uh, for Danielle and Paul. Appreciate the knife, we really enjoyed it. And uh, it does, it works great. She told me that she used this knife her own self. And uh, it is a good knife. 
Okay, I'm going to turn my cameras around and get them over here so that you can see me uh, start cooking the chili. And the next step I do is brown the hamburger meat. So I'll be back with you in just a minute. Okay, and I did get my hands washed real good before I uh, touched in the equipment. Okay, this is two pounds of hamburger meat. And like I said, it was frozen, but we got it thawed out now. And so I'm just going to give it a few minutes here and let it get brown. Okay, our hamburger meat is about halfway brown now. So I'm going to go ahead and add the onions into it and let them go ahead and be sauteing while the hamburger meat finishes cooking. Okay, my hamburger meat is uh, brown now, and I do have a pretty good bit of grease on it. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to drain off uh, per, as much of this grease as I can. And then I'll come back and uh, we'll start it back up. Okay, I've got the hamburger meat drained now. I did not rinse it off. I just drained it real good. So I'm going to start adding my other ingredients to it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the rest of this uh, beef stew meat into it. Stew beef looks good in there with it. I'll go ahead and let it heat up a little bit before I add the other ingredients. Marie, this chili sure is looking good. You're going to enjoy it today. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start adding the ingredients now. It's basically just a dump and go from this point here. Uh, I'm going to add the uh, chili beans. Now I've got two cans of these. And then I'm going to so go ahead and get this second can of chili beans in here. Now this is a can of uh, dark red kidney beans. I did rinse them and uh, drain them before I'm going to add them in here. Okay. And then I've got two cans of petite diced tomatoes. Now these tomatoes do have basil and garlic in it and oregano, so they've got a little bit of spice in them already. but. We love using these tomatoes. They flavor everything up good. So let me add these to it. And as you can see, the pot is starting to look a little full there. But that's going to be okay. I'm probably going to have to add just a little bit of liquid to it here in just a minute. But for right now, I just want to get it stirred and mixed together. Here's my water. Now, if you want your chili to be real soupy, you can add more water to it. But I want mine to be more hearty and thick, so I'm not going to put a whole lot of water in it. That's about one cup. I'm going to stop right there for right now. Give it a good stir. Okay. Now I will have to add some more water to it. That's not going to quite be enough. So I'll go ahead and add it to it now. Ok, 
Okay, I, I went ahead and put all that water in there. That's two uh, cups of water. Okay, now it's going to take a few minutes for this to heat up enough to uh, come to a boil, but as soon as it comes up to a boil, I'm going to add my spices to it, but I don't want to add them right now while it's cold. So I'll give this a few minutes and I'll be back with you. Okay, the chili has just come to a boiling point and I just steered it up. It really looks good there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add my spices to it. Now these are the spices that I'm going to be adding to it. And this is enough spices to uh, do a chili with about three pounds of meat. But I will put the recipe in the description. And you can adjust it if you don't want yours to be as hot as this. Or if you want hotter, you can put a little bit more. Okay, I'm just going to pour it all in here at one time. And, well, there's the cayenne. The cayenne didn't go in. Let's get that. <laughs> okay. Now let me stir it all up real good. It just seems like your spices mix in there better if you wait until the chili gets hot and I blend them in then. Okay, now we still got two more ingredients to go in here. I've got my bell peppers and I've got my uh, smoked sausage. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cook for about 30 minutes on low. I'm going to go ahead and cover it up with the lid and I'll turn it down low and just let it sit there and simmer for about 30 minutes. Then I'm going to come back and add the bell peppers and the smoked sausage and let it cook for approximately 15 to 20 minutes after that. So I'll be back with you in 30 minutes. Okay, it's been cooking now for 30 minutes. And so uh, I'm going to go ahead. Man, it smells good. <laughs> I'm standing here steering it and I'm just loving it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add my bell peppers into it. And this is one whole bell pepper that's been diced up. And now I'm going to add in my smoked sausage that I cut into little small bits. And as you can see, this boiler is almost full to the top. Uh, I almost needed to go to my other uh, pan that I use and if I'd put as many ingredients as I normally do I would have to go to a bigger pan but let me cover this up here now and let it continue to cook for at least 15 more minutes I may let it go 20 uh, what I'll do is I'll come back and just take a little sample taste of it and see if it all seems like it's done so I'll see you back here in just a few minutes and I will keep it covered Okay, our chili is done now. I did go ahead and test it after it cooked that last 15 minutes, and I decided to give it 10 more minutes. And so it's been cooking for a total of one hour. And if you put the beef stew meat in it, you do need to test it to be sure it's tender. Uh, depending on how big your pieces are, you may have to cook it a little bit longer. But uh, we checked ours, and ours is tender now. So we're gonna go ahead and serve up a small bow this is actually going to be for our lunch today, and uh, we're just going to have a small bow to do the taste test, but later tonight we'll have a regular sized bow. You ready for some, Marie? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, let me turn it off, and let me give it a good steer. It's got a lot of steam coming off of it. Look how good that looks, Marie. Uh -huh. I love the way those peppers and um, that kielbasa looks in it. It looks good, don't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me get, I'll get, I'll get your bow first. It 
There you go, Marie. And I'll let you put yours on it just how you want it. Okay. And on mine, I went ahead and put my Fritos in the bowl. Uh, that's just the way I prefer mine. And then cover it up with all the uh, chili. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cover it back up now. And we'll get this prepared. Marie, does yours look good, Calvin? Thank you, Marie. Did I get us a spoon? Let me guess a spoon. Yours is looking good too, Marie. Okay. Well, let the pull of the plow bring the sweat from my brow. Well, that looks nice, Marie. Let me get some sour cream for mine. Let me wind down my days in the sweet dust. And let me get some cheese. Take me back down oh, take me I must like a little more cheese than you do, Marie. <laughs> that looks good, don't it? Take me back down the old dirt road. Okay, Marie, I'll let you do the taste test first. Okay. Mm, that was really good. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me get a bite too. Get in there a little deeper. Perfect. <laughs> yep. One more bite. Get some free doughs this time. Well, Calvin, I think you did it again. Mm -hmm. I think this pot is better than the last one you made. Okay, now it's only two bites. <laughs> so I don't know how spicy it's going to be yet. <laughs> But those first two bites seemed like they were just perfect, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Not too hot, not yeah. too mild. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it. So, uh, how, how would you rate it, Marie? Oh, definitely can, five stars. Can we rate it now without having to go eat the hobo? Because mm -hmm. we know we're going to love it, don't we? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, on this chili, if you want to, you can cook it in a crock pot. Just put all your ingredients in, just like I did and let it cook for about six to eight hours on low. We do it in a crock pot quite often, don't we, Marie? Yeah. And especially if we've got to be gone somewhere during the daytime. And, uh, but I just want to cook it on the oven. You can get it cooked real quick if you cook it on the oven. Yeah. And uh, it was very delicious. The main reason I went ahead and cooked a big pot of chili today is I have another video that I want to do that calls for using homemade chili. And so, uh, Rather than putting a can of chili in that recipe, I'm going to use some of this homemade chili to make that recipe also. So uh, I'll try to get that made in the next couple of days, and I'm not sure what day it'll be posted, but you'll be seeing this video on Monday evening. So uh, that's all I got, Maria. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I hope everybody tries it, enjoys it, and leave us comments and give us a thumbs up. We certainly do appreciate it. And y'all do what you love and love what you do. And we'll see y'all on the next video. Bye. Every night.